Hi, this is Michael Fiore from DigitalRomance.tv along with Nora. Hey. And today's topic is... How to get the romance back in a dead or stale relationship. So if a relationship's dead, I'm not sure there's much you can yeah, do. Yeah, I'm really not sure there's much you can do. It's Stick a dead fork at that in point. it, it's a, Yeah, it's a dead parrot, an ex-parrot, uh, things like that. Yeah. Um, but going back to actual relationships where the romance is not quite as hot or sparky as it used to be. Right? I have to I mean I have to admit my only experience with this ended in divorce, so I'm not sure I know. You're a how. bad example. <laughs> well we do have one particular thing that we do a lot. Now I did a program that I was on the Rachel Ray show for several years ago, because I'm old now, uh, called Text of the Romance Back, which we'll put a link to that down there, which teaches you how to use tiny little text messages sent from the cell phone you have in your pocket or purse right now to create incredible feelings of intimacy, love and lust in your relationship, no matter how long it's been. Well, I've said that before. I wow, think, it sounds possibly. like you have a few times. But the core idea behind that product, you know, the texting is very important. And what I like about texting in that particular case is that it is um, space and time neutral. You can yep. kind of send these things whenever you want. But the number one way to get your romance back in your relationship is to give what you want to get. And the number one way to do that is start appreciating your partner for who they are. As relationships go on, as there's financial stress, as there's job stress and kids stress and house stress and whatever else stress, it's way too easy to spend all of your time in your relationship focusing on what you don't like about your partner. Those little things about how he doesn't put the toilet seat down or she doesn't do this become the only thing that you're focusing on over time. And a relationship is a marathon, not a sprint. We all often go into relationships assuming the way we feel right at the very beginning is going to be the way we're going to feel 20 or 30 years later. And you're not going to. No, you're a not. A relationship evolves. Yep. And keeping that spark, keeping desire for somebody, keeping all of that stuff going is actually work. And you're like, well, I don't want it to be work. I want it to be easy. Well, I just, work. I but want him to spontaneously romance me. Yes. And in Text the Romance Back, what we do is we teach you how to send texts that make your partner, whether it's a man or a woman, feel appreciated again, feel desired again, feel sexy again, feel liked again, yep. right? And some of it isn't even all that sexy or romantic in a way. It can be as simple as just telling the guy you're with, hey, you're a really great dad and I'm so, I'm so happy that I, I met you and you became the father of my children or something like that. Even though that's really just about like, you know, appreciation for who he is as a dad, it creates that feeling of romance and warmness over time. Right? The worst thing you can do is like, you know, I was watching some show the other day where it's like, you know, they haven't had sex in three years or something like that, and the, the woman shows up in lingerie. Oh, I knew you were going to go there. And yeah. it all explodes badly. No, That's too does. much too quickly. Yeah. Sending pictures of your genitals, things oh, like that. No, don't do that. Too much too early. You start off slowly. It's like, I, I feel um, that the renegotiation and re-sparking process is much like the first dating process. It is, yeah. You have to build up to that mm -hmm. intimacy again. You have to build that trust back. You have to re-woo your yeah. partner um, in whatever way that is, whatever is best for them, however they're going to respond. Yep. And a, and a lot of women say to me, they say, Michael, I don't want to have to romance him. I want him to romance me. Right. And I say, I understand that. But you have to inspire him to want, want to, to romance right. you again. You have to, you have, I, I, yeah, you yeah. have to lay off the nagging for a while. You have to find a way women to. Women don't nag. Sometimes. I wouldn't nag do. unless he needed me to. If I, yeah. <laughs> if I wasn't married to a small child, I wouldn't have to nag him. Right. Oh, we, I just, mean, we just saw back into her. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you have to st you have to get past to and to mm -hmm. a point where you're okay with the way things are, yep. and then re woo. Yep. And, it, and again, Pitch largely woo? is it pitching? That's pitching. what you do with woo. Sure, you you pitch, sure. you throw woo, kind of like. <laughs> uh, but it is largely about focusing on what you like about your partner, whether he's a man or she's a woman right. or anything like that. The way to inspire somebody to become more romantic to you is to give them some romance first sure. and give them some appreciation. If you go to text the romance back, and um, we'll put the link there, you'll see like testimonials from people who say things like, "I sent this one text and I couldn't believe that he came home that night and just wrapped me in a big embrace and gave me a kiss or something like that." And it's not that it's wrong. It's science. It's not that it's, you know, amazingly, you know, crafted kind right. of romantic prose that could be done by Shakespeare. It's just show it, taking that moment out of your day to show that you care about somebody. And oftentimes the words "I love you" aren't enough. The words "I love you" lose power over time. Especially if you say them all the time. All the every time. Day, all love the you. Time. Love you. Things like that. Yep. So we teach you a lot about how to say other things that actually inspire that spark. Okay. So if you want to learn more about that, we'll put the link right here under my hand, maybe, I don't know. We'll see, Ben will put it somewhere. <laughs>
it's here. I don't know. Anyway, and you'll learn about Text the Romance back, and uh, you can tune in for more videos like this and learn more about us at digitalromance.tv.